Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And today I have the newest bargain bead box, Blooming Branches. And I thought it would be fun to just take a look at these beads and then do a quick, quick necklace uh, with the new beads. I love the colors. As you can see, we've got a lot of beautiful purples, pinks, lots of uh, beautiful like evergreen, which is nice, some citrine. I wanted to bring up a few things about the Bargain Bead Box. Um, first of all, they're starting to label with the prices, or the not the prices, but the, um, the value, the approximate value, which is great for those of us that actually sell our jewelry. Um, and this is how you can tell based on your subscription. I believe this box they're saying is an approximate value of $94. So you can see how they came up with that so you know uh, what you're getting, which is wonderful. Um, the theme is very nice. I'm gonna read this out to you. The trees are showing off for spring, dressed in their best buds and blooms. Inspired by the pinks and purples of red bud blossoms and the tulip poplars, yellows and greens. This month's Sylvan selections include two gemstone tree of life pendants, genuine gemstone strands in rose quartz citrine and more, plus sparkling crystal accents, glass flowers, and a collection of silver finished findings with leaf and tree motifs. If you are a fan of the Tree of Life, this is your box. There are some really gorgeous pendants. Uh, again, and then also there's a coupon. Uh, if you are, if you do get this subscription, you know about the coupon. For those of you that don't, there's a 30% coupon that you get that, um, you can use all, you know, you can use and use over and over again for the whole month for 30% off. And they have great, great prices on their sister site. So I will link all that in my description. So let's take a look just real quickly. So we've got, they were talking about the crystals. So we've got these Peridot Green Iris, which are gorgeous. Those are super sparkly. We have some little faceted rondelles in some really pretty colors. Very springy. Got some gorgeous pink, sparkly, light rose round beads and an AB finish. And we also have six millimeter crystal faceted in a light rose AB. So very nice. These are the pressed glass flower beads. Uh, I did put some, there's some crimp cut crimp beads in there as well. Uh, let's see. Citrine, I think I showed you. It's gorgeous. Eight, six millimeter, and I love the different shades of the yellow in there. Got some beautiful dyed dolomite jade violet round beads in an eight millimeter. That's a gorgeous color. And I love these amethyst dyed jade beads as well. And I love the dark and the light of the purples. And then we've got some beautiful quartz round beads, rose quartz, gorgeous. Then for findings, we have some pretty bumpy spacer beads. We do get some bead caps. I'm gonna be adding some bead caps of my own, but here's our bead caps. I, these are my um, little ball head pins, but then look at all the trees. So we have these two tree motif. I love that. And it is double-sided. You got two of those. Two really pretty drops. Also trees. There's the other side. Make some really pretty earrings with those. We have another tree of life. And then you can hang dangles from the bottom of those really pretty really cool laser cut leaf kind of um dangles or you i mean you could do earrings you could do um make them connectors in a necklace this is one of my favorites this is a rose quartz tree of life pendant absolutely gorgeous and there's the back beautiful piece of rose quartz in there and then this one too is gorgeous. So this is with amethyst. 
And I love that drop piece. That's really pretty as well. So a lot of beautiful focal pieces in this box, which is really nice. You can, you have a different, um, you can do lots of different things with them. And then we have toggles uh, to close off our necklaces or bracelets or whatever. Um, I'm actually going to use this toggle as a focal. Um, I'm going to use it very unconventionally today. And these I'm going to save probably for a future video. Um, I was thinking this one might be nice with an asymmetrical look. I may grab some beads out of my stash to add to this, so stay tuned for that. And then this other piece, I thought I'd do a bracelet um, and actually use it as a, a closure, you know, again, future video. And of course we gotta do earrings. But for today, I thought we'd do this unconventional necklace and my thought, oh, so I'm gonna use uh, my favorite stringing material, which is Softlex. And I'm also gonna be using some silk. I wanted to pick up more of this green so we'll be using silk today. This is really nice. I'm gonna use this at the end to tie off the necklace. I love the way this feels on my neck. It's so comfortable to wear um, with your necklaces. So this is gonna be used. And let's see. I also have some seed beads I pulled out of my stash, which I will probably use. I have 20 gauge wire in case I wanna do any wire work. And then I also pulled out my uh, jump rings if I want to do anything with jump rings. I haven't really decided on a... Oh, and then I do have extra bead caps in case I need them. I haven't really decided on a design other than I wanted to use this as a focal. But I think, you know, for today, it's, it's Saturday. I kind of woke up a little late. I kind of lounged with the dogs a little. <laughs> It's just been one of those kind of lazy, I don't want to say lazy, but just easygoing, I don't really want to stress out about too much kind of days. Uh, this past week was a little hairy at work. Lots of things that going on there that I don't want to think about. So <laughs> we're going to make jewelry. I did want to get a video out to you before now, but it just didn't happen last week. So definitely when I got this box yesterday, I got it yesterday afternoon. I thought I better, I, I gotta do a uh, bargain bead box video, of course. So I'm sure there'll be lots of people doing unboxings uh, as well, but this is going to be my simple, easygoing Saturday necklace to enjoy the weekend with. So we will be using some Softlex medium beading wire in the silver color. And again, I'm gonna use this as a focal piece and I thought I would make a few little dangles. Uh, I might hang, I might hang this guy. Maybe if I do that, yeah. I know there's two of these, but I think I'll use this maybe as a charm on a bracelet rather than earrings. I like to try to take things and do different things with them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with making these as earrings, but I always try to think think a little more, I don't wanna say out of the box, everybody says that, but you know what I mean. Use it in an unconventional way, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So we do have a little loop here, and that's when I'm gonna string the soft flex through, and then this little piece is gonna be for our dangles. This would also be a great spot if you have any leaf charms to hang also just FYI. And then I thought I would take a couple of these and maybe do, make it look like, um, well, that's like almost exactly the same color, isn't it? Let's do pink. We'll put the uh, rose quartz. Now, my beads are sliding this way and um, full disclosure, I discovered that my desk is broken. So I'm being very careful today because I cannot replace the desk until next weekend. So if you see things sliding, it's because I've kind of got the desk propped up where I can work, but gravity is gonna take its toll. So just bear with me on that. 
things happen. And maybe some citrine in there. I want a more yellow one, I think. Maybe we'll do that. And then let's grab a couple of these little, let me do a peach one. We want to pop a color. We'll do a pop of color. That'll work. And then I have my little my little head pin, so we'll make some dangles to hang off of this. And you know, I'm just gonna do some little straightforward. Maybe I'll use a bead cap on the top of that too. This is kind of fun because you can layer these any way you want especially if you have multiples. I've seen them being used um, several different ways. Couldn't find the hole in that. <laughs> but you can stack lots of bead caps. You can stack more than one. If you've got some more lucite flowers in different shapes, you can really go wild with it. Let me get this other one ready and then we'll wrap them. Oops. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, if you're not part of my Facebook group, check out Marcy Creates. I'll put a link in the description. I just posted um, the April, we do a little color challenge every month this year. And I just posted the challenge for the palette for April and I'm already seeing amazing things plus the group is just so nice so i will put that in the description as well in case you want to join us i feel like this needs more contrast maybe we will add let's add a purple bead oh i want to put that bead cap back This is a really pretty springy box, I think. And then maybe we'll do, let's see. Cute. All right. So let's do some wire wrapping. Trying to reach my <laughs> my tools. And they were over yonder, as we like to say in Texas. Yeah, I was um, doing something for work, and my desk majorly shifted right under my elbow. And I thought, well, that's not good. And I looked, and the whole leg is cracked. I don't know how that happened, but it's not a very expensive desk, but um, it never was meant for being a computer desk. And I work my day job uh, off of this desk too. So uh, I'm gonna order one probably next week and we'll see how quickly I can get it here. All right, I'm gonna use some 20 gauge wire to attach this little charm. I got some new cutters. These are by Zeron. Uh, I bought them on Amazon. I will link them in the description if you're interested. They are very, very sharp. I'm just gonna warn you. So if you do choose to get them, be super careful. Thank you for all your comments. I'm reading them and trying to respond as I can. Uh, but man, I really appreciate all of you very much. And I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. And welcome any new folks that have joined my channel. And for those of you that haven't, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. And even if you think you are subscribed, I'm hearing, this is not unique to me, that um, for some reason, 
people think they're subscribed or they are subscribed and then they have to go resubscribe. I've had to do that myself. I don't know what it is with YouTube. Um, pulling people off their subscriptions, but I, I've been hearing it a lot this week on the different channels that I watch. So I'm just, just going to mention it. Just double check if you think you're subscribed that you are truly subscribed. And that way you don't miss any, you don't miss any videos and you don't miss any cha-cha ginger time, which are my two puppies. I'm going to try to get some good footage of them this weekend. They're enjoying the springtime. One of the reasons I got these new nippers is they're really sharp. So I can get into some tight spots, which I was really needing. So that's, they're neat. That's why I still have my other ones. Because, you know, I think sometimes one tool, even though they're for the same purpose, different sizes, different shapes can help you get into different, you know, nooks and crannies when you're making this jewelry. So for this charm, I think I'm going to use one of these. And I'm going to do some bead caps. And then I'm going to do a bumpy bead and then maybe a bicone. Let's see how that looks. I do think this is a really pretty box. Yeah, all right. Let's get to attaching and then we can start stringing, um, which is my favorite part. I, lo I love to make, I love all types of jewelry making, but there's something about the stringing that I really enjoy. And with the soft flex, the beads just glide on. I mean, you couldn't ask for a nicer stringing material. It's my absolute favorite and I use it all the time. So I'm just going to attach these wire wrap technique and make sure I have that on right. Nope. You want it facing the right way. <laughs> there we go. Always check that. I've made that mistake before where I haven't checked and I've had stuff backwards. So Helpful hints from Heloise on that one. I think I'm just going to wrap a few times here. Whoops. Come back here, mister. That got in there tight. I love it. All right. I think though, I don't need these big nippers for these little, these um, uh, <laughs> my brain just drew blank. Head pins, head pins. Um, they're pretty small. I mean, uh, they have a finer gauge. If I had to guess, I think they're between a 24 and a 26. I mean, they're pretty fine. So I am not going to use the big nippers on these. I'm going to use the smaller ones. So this is what I mean, but different size. Oh. 
you guys, you know, <laughs> what was I saying about different size nippers? Yeah, that worked well. Fortunately, that's easy to fix. <laughs> you know, I never ever plan this and it always happens. <laughs> Let me put this other one on and then we'll re redo that one. Crazy. It's always something around here. Yeah, if you want to laugh a lot, this is the channel for you because I'm always doing something absolutely silly right on camera, right on cue that you uh, can enjoy. <laughs> Somebody told me to do a bloopers video. I, I think I might have to. I have a lot of bloopers. <laughs> yep. Well, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at, right? And you'll know I screwed up because I'll start laughing instantly. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. This is when you don't edit your videos. You just go with it. <laughs> People tell me I'm gutsy because I leave the mistakes in. But I feel like, you know, we all make them. Why not just own up to it and... Hey, if somebody learned something from me, uh, like pay attention when you're cutting your head pins, you know, that I've done my job. I've taught you something. <laughs> what was that about the laid back Saturday I was going for? <laughs> oh, man. Fortunately, that's an easy fix. It's really bad when you're deep into a project and uh, something happens. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but that's a little more frustrating. Okay. So this is great if you have a half of a toggle, but you don't have the bar. Like, you know, sometimes we we lose pieces. You can use a. Uh, you can use your toggle, half. As a pendant. So there's a thought. So if you missing pieces, don't get rid of them. There's always something you can do. All right. So here is our. Our focal piece. I'll just hold it up so you can get a nice view. So this is what we're going to string with and again I'm going to string through this little hole right here. So let's get our soft flex. This is the fun part for me, the stringing part. And this, like I said, is such nice, um, it has such a nice feel to it when you're using it and stringing the beads. If you've never used Softflex, I highly, highly recommend giving it a try. I think it'll become your favorite really quickly. Also, Softflex has kits that they collaborate with a lot of bead companies with and their kits are a lot of fun. Great people over there. So do check them out. You will have a link to their shop as well in my description. Right, so I kind of like the way that's hanging. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to start stringing. I don't have any rhyme or reason way that I want to string this. So what I'll probably do and what I normally do when I don't have a plan is I'll just start on one side and if I like the way it's looking then I'll do the other side and that way if I don't like it I can always 
um, just have to redo one side instead of all of it. So I think I'm gonna start with some things sparkly. So let's do some bicones. And from there, I like to do stacking and color blocking and, you know, like chunks of color. I'm not going to do anything asymmetrical this time, but I am going to do some little patterns here and there. And I'm going to use all the colors. It's going to be a very colorful necklace. And I'm going to use a lot of the bead caps too. So right now I'm just laying the color on. Um, whoops. Yeah, that's part of my, part of my problem with the, sorry about that if that made you dizzy, with this desk sloping. Just have to be super careful. And I'm trying not to lean on that one side. So I've got some green and some purple here. Let's do some yellow. I'm going to work in odd numbers. Um, I think I've mentioned before, but if you're new, um, odd numbers always visually look better to the brain. I have to look that science as to why that is. But um, I learned that in interior design school, like when you arrange things, they're always telling you to do odd numbers. Also, I worked in retail and a lot of our displays had odd numbers as well. So there is something to it. So that's pretty. Let's do a bumpy, a bumpy spacer. And I love these dark purple. Let's do some of those next. Yeah, so I discovered a new TV show I like. Um, I thought I'd tell you about it. A couple of them, actually. Um, I think on Par I think it's CBS. There's a new show called Elsbeth. Oh my gosh, is it adorable? Uh, the actress is Carrie Preston. I adore her, and I'm really enjoying the. Um, the show and I'm dying for I know there's one coming out with um, uh, Kathy Bates Matlock but it hasn't come out yet but I, I like those kind of shows and then um, if you've never if you have Netflix oh gosh it's a glass blowing I think it's called Blown Up, maybe. I think I like this, so I'm going to do this on the other side. Anyway, it's glass blowing. I think there's four seasons, and you want to talk about inspirational, even though it's not jewelry. Uh, what they do with the glass is pretty amazing, and the, the themes and the colors, and I love to hear, you know, what their inspiration was, and... Uh, I mean, I don't think I could do it. I mean, they're just sweating in there, you know? But you see all this, and of course you can't really tell. You can see all the technique that they're using, but my favorite part is at the end when all their pieces are in the gallery and you can really see the color. I think it's called Blow Up. Anyway, it's on Netflix, glass blowing uh, competition. It's really, for those of us creatives, it's very inspirational, very inspirational, creative, like-minded people, even though they're working with glass, I think a lot of us can identify with, and then of course they make something beautiful and you're all excited and then something breaks and it just breaks your heart. And uh, so think about that. You've worked hours and hours on something and then you hit it wrong and it just shatters to the floor. I would be devastated. And at least 
with jewelry making, we don't have to worry about that. We can just restring or, you know, unless you're working with lamp work glass and you break a bead, that would be devastating. But other than that, we don't have that. That's a high stakes uh, craft, that, that glass blowing. But man, at the end, is it beautiful. I'm amazed what they can do with glass. Pretty cool. So yes, I highly recommend that. And then Elizabeth is just cute. She, you know, it's kind of like Columbo, but with a lady. People underestimate her and she figures stuff out and it's super cute. I love it. Those are my recommendations for TV shows. All right, so I'm liking this. I think I'm gonna continue doing stacks of color, odd numbers. And I'm just, it's my favorite way to, I love doing asymmetrical too, but um, I like lots of color. I love pattern. So that's generally what I do when I'm making something. But you do you. If you want to just do a pattern with certain colors. I mean, what's nice about this particular box this time is you've got quite a few different focal pieces. So you could do all kinds of different techniques. I can't wait to use this one. Um, I mean, these are all just really gorgeous. And I don't recall a box where we got so many focal pieces before. So that's kind of nice. Let's see, do we want to do, let's, um, I wonder what this looks like. A little flower. Hmm. I just don't like that there's no, whoa, hello. You see what happened there? <laughs> I, I wish there was more contrast between this and this. So I think I'm gonna hold off on these beads right here. And I'm just gonna continue with, yeah, let's, let's do some lavender stacks, that'll be pretty. These are gorgeous. Yeah, a lot of gemstones in this box too, which is nice. And then I love their metals always are cadmium free, lead free and nickel free. So if you have sensitive skin, much, much better for you. All right, I'm gonna continue on this one side. Another bumpy bead. Let's do three more of the citrine. I'm gonna go up just a little bit further and then we'll, we'll start attaching the silk. The other thing I like about the silk is you can really um, adjust, you know, how far down the necklace hangs. It's very, very adjustable for, you can make it longer, shorter, especially if you use a lot of the silk. And I think that particular piece of fairy silk came from Jesse James Beads in one of my subscription boxes from them. But I know you can find that silk also on Etsy. So let's see, how much higher do I wanna make this? Well, let me grab some more of these guys. starting to get warm here. 
and uh, it's Texas is weird because you get spring and then one day one day it just like it's a hundred <laughs> it's like there's no warming up to it I'm not looking forward to that but uh, how, oh, how many of you are going to be checking out the eclipse if you're near near here I hear we're going to have an influx of people uh, this particular eclipse, I guess, isn't going to be seen again for what, two, three hundred years, a hundred years? I don't, I don't remember. But yeah, it's all over the news. So, all right, I think I want to do maybe, maybe up to here. And then we'll stop and I'm going to make some seed bead loops and then I'm going to attach the silver silk. I mean, the um, silver silk. Listen to me. I love that silver silk, but I'm not using it today. But um, the silk, the fairy silk, we'll use that. If you think about it, these are kind of like subtle Mardi Gras colors because you've got the gold, which, which is actually the yellow, but it's pale. And you've got the green and the purple. But softer versions. All right. I'm gonna do five more of the citrine. I love citrine um, chips too. The little chip beads, those are fun to play with. These are so shiny, it's hard to see where the hole is. <laughs> but see how nicely these glide onto the silver silk? I just love it, I mean silver silk. Ay ay ay! I can't stop saying silver silk. Soft flex. <laughs> I've been using a lot of silver silk lately. That's why I'm keep saying that. That's also an awesome material, which you will see in future videos. And also, if you've seen any of my past ones, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. One more. Awesome. Now I thought what I would do is make some loops with my pink, they're kind of uh, purpley pink. They're not an exact match, but I think they're fine. And I'm gonna do some loops. You're probably not gonna see, they'll kind of be peeking out. You're not gonna see much uh, because the silk is going to cover quite a bit of it. Let's see, we're going to need crimp beads. So what I like to do, and this is just me, I like to do these seed bead loops because A, it adds texture, B, it adds color, and it's just kind of fun, you know? And if you're not a seed beater, but you have seed beads, this is a great way to use them. So I'm gonna do 17, odd number. It makes like a really nice shaped loop. There's six. Nine. All right, 
Let me move this guy over for a minute. So I'm just going to make a loop. You could string it back through your jump stone if you want. And I am going to do that in this particular instance. And then another thing that I love about the soft flex is when you're doing something like this, it just gl glides so nicely, even through the crimp bead. I gotta find my crimpers now. Come here, crimpers. They were hiding. Just be careful not to squish your seed beads if you do this. And then you can add a little crimp cover. I'm gonna come in with my smaller nippers. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. So you wanna tighten this, but you don't want it so tight that it's stiff. You want a little bit of room so that your necklace hangs nicely. So if you're gonna do this, just kind of give it a little bit of give. Um, it doesn't need to be super tight. And we're gonna add, whoops. We have an avalanche. I have these little stickers on here. I think that's what happened. I just kind of like that because I can see what I'm using. That's So that was kind of fun. I just peeled those stickers right off the plastic um, bags that they came in in the kit. So if that's something that would be helpful to you, you can just put them and then you, they peel right off too when you want to put the beads back. But again, if you sell your jewelry, it's nice to know you know, what you've used. All right, so we're gonna do another 17. Little seed, pardon me, little seed beads. That's 12. There we go. We move this over. So now we're gonna come back through here and our citrine. But I want you to see how nicely this glides. I'm going to get up closer. Watch this. Isn't that nice? And then if you have to scoot it down, it's super easy. This is much easier than other stringing materials that I've had to use. I mean, because you're trying to get tight in there, but you don't want to break anything and you don't want it to be so stiff that it doesn't have any movement. So... Great stuff. All right. So the last thing we need to do, and I save these for earrings, or sometimes I need a little piece for something, so I don't throw those out. All right, so here is our necklace with our dangles. And I've got this green uh, fairy silk. And it came in this, it's, I think it's 24 inches long. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm just gonna slide. Now there's several different ways that you can attach this. I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna tie it. You could do a a little lark's head knot if you wanted. I am just going to even it up. 
and tie a knot. And then if you have large hole beads, you could add some beads to the silk also, which would be very pretty. But I'm just gonna do the boho thing. And you could make one string too. I'm doing two, okay? But if you wanna do more than, if you want it longer, you know, make it longer in just one strand, you can do that. You could wire wrap up here if, you know, I've done that before, where you close this up with some wire. If you don't like the look of this, that's totally up to you. But then I make a big knot here. You can hang dangles from this knot if you want. You can use several and make a braid. Very, very versatile. But this feels really nice against the neck. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. You could do this with suede as well. Suede or any fabric. I've seen people use sari silk. The possibilities are really endless. You could do yarn as well. You know, if you got a really cool textural yarn that you want to use, that would be awesome also. And then you could just tie it, you know, And you could put more beads on here if you want. You can embellish, embellish it if you want. But there is our necklace. Let me move some of these things. We'll get a closer view. Whoop! Avalanche. I sure hope this desk makes it by next week. <laughs> Everybody pray for my desk. <laughs> anyway. So that's fun. And it's quick. This didn't take very long. And uh, we used our toggle piece as a focal instead. Made some dangles. Did some color blocking use some silk and some seed beads, you know, pull, pull some things out of your stash and, and make it yours. But I think this turned out really well. This would be cute with this too. Um, look, I love that. So I'm excited to play with this, uh, box some more. Again, I'll do some more videos. We'll do some earrings, maybe, uh, and then I want to do an asymmetrical necklace with this. And then obviously a uh, bracelet too. Um, I have to think about what kind of bracelet, but I do still have another one of these toggles. So it's so pretty, you know, if you do it on a necklace, I'm not saying you can't, but it, it's hidden, you know, on your back of your neck, but with a bracelet, this would be a very cool piece. Maybe we'll make it a, that would be cool to make it an actual focal and use a different closure. That's maybe what I'll do. Stay tuned for that. So yeah, my wheels are turning. I hope you got this box or if you're going to get the box, uh, it just hasn't arrived yet. This gives you some ideas on what to do. And uh, I love the colors, so um, I don't think you can go wrong. And of course, then you've got that 30% coupon to uh, do some shopping with if you want. So thanks for joining me today. Uh, I do hope to have several more videos out to you this week. Uh, desk, if my desk cooperates. <laughs> uh, but if for some reason they're scant, just know that when I get the desk replaced, I'll be putting out a whole bunch because I have a lot of ideas and a lot of stuff coming up and more boxes coming and you know, you know how it is if you got subscriptions. So thanks for watching. Do join our Facebook group. Marcy Creates. Check my description for links to all these things. And uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. Take care of your sweet selves and your families and be safe.
and I will see you on the next video.